Jackie Trad trying her best to keep it brief. I will co cooperate fully with this investigation. It will provide me with an opportunity to set the record straight on this matter. Standing aside from her ministerial duties as the corruption watchdog investigates her role in the selection of a school principal in her South Brisbane electorate. Let me be clear. No applicant to the principal position was known to me in any capacity, personal, political or professional. Further, I have never expressed a view to anyone on who should fill that role. Ms Trad has previously denied having any role in the dumping of a candidate who had initially been chosen to head the Inner City South State Secondary College due to open in 2021. The issue was referred to the Crime and Corruption Commission in November. In a statement, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says the Deputy Premier advised me of her decision to stand aside while this investigation proceeds. I accept that her decision is the correct course of action. I will be assuming her ministerial duties until further notice. 300,000 Queenslanders have lost their jobs and we are now in the middle of an economic catastrophe and crisis and we have a temporary treasurer. Queenslanders don't want a temporary treasurer. This is not the first integrity scandal to follow the Deputy Premier and it's unfortunate timing for the Palaszczuk government just five months out from the state election. Jackie Trad is planning to contest her South Brisbane seat, which she holds by a margin of just 13%. Jackie Trad should have been sacked months ago. Not today, not stood down. She should have been sacked months ago. Whether it was the ski trips to Whistler in Canada, whether it was the purchase of the investment property that she didn't tell anyone about and didn't update her parliamentary register, whether it was losing responsibility for Cross River Rail. Jackie Trad has had too many chances. Julia Bradley, Sky News.